So today we're gonna to talk about blind placement and why you put the blind where you put it so you can get the most out of your hunt. What are the factors involved for getting it done on game day? Blind placement is gonna be different than tree stand placement. In my opinion, with blind placement, wind is not as big a factor as it is if you're hanging a stand. Although we will take wind into consideration when placing a blind and when hunting that blind. But the number one priority for me about blind placement is ingress and egress. How can I get to that blind and get out of that blind without me busting deer? So we're gonna show you an example today on one we just put on a food plot that will allow you to get in and out of that blind without busting deer. So this is a good example of having a blind on a food plot. Now we have cut a trail skirting this food plot and the blind is set so we can get in and out of the blind without ever going into the food plot. So we can get in and out hidden, not seen, and uh, it allows you for great ingress and egress without busting deer. So this is a good example of a, of a, of a blind being set up on a food plot where we do not have to get into the food plot to get in and out of that blind. That's critical. Now there are some other things that you can do when you're placing the blind. You can create screens through warm season native grasses, things of that nature to create a screen so you can get in and out without being seen. If you're putting the blind in a CRP type field um, that has a lot of brush and a lot of cover already in it, you can mow a trail along the edge of that field or through part of that field to get to that blind without being detected. Um, in the timber, we'll even put big blinds in the middle of the timber, especially during rut. If we've got an area that has a nice point or if we are on a bench or places that bucks like to travel during the rut, getting that blind in there and having that ingress and egress and having you a cut trail to get to it is, is a really good way to hunt the rut if you want to use a blind. Again, we're also going to factor wind. We want to make sure that we're not going to be hunting this on a terrible wind, but wind is not as critical when you're using a blind uh, as it is with a stand. The other things that we want to think about when we're placing a blind other than ingress and egress and wind is if you're putting it over a food plot, how much of that food plot can you see? You want to try to put that blind in a spot that especially if your blind if your food plots are irregularly shaped where you have the widest view of that plot as possible so you can see as much of that plot as possible if you're on a large crp field or a large crop field again and you're gun hunting you want the advantage of being able to see as much of that field as possible so when you that's another thing to consider when putting in when putting in your blinds and placing them in the right spot so trying to find that magic spot where you've got excellent ingress and egress and can have maximum vision of the area you're hunting, even if it's inside the timber, those things all come together to make that one magical spot. 